Hello YouTube, I'm going to do a gardening video every day in 2015, that's my promise, well, that's what I'm going to try to do anyway, so I'm going to start with this one. So this is the garden on the 1st of January and we start of course with the leeks here and some of them are reaching a fairly good size. We picked some already and I guess um, that's the sort of size that they're reaching. Um, and then we go uh, to the right here and we've got some sporadically planted broccoli. We did have some rose bushes there, but I've transferred them over to the other side. Um, and we've got some more sporadically planted broccoli here. Um, this is, down here, is the mint bush, and it comes through really strongly, uh, probably around about April time. And we had um, some very good mint from it last year, and we dried some as well, and we're still using it, so that's good. More sporadically planted broccoli, there we are. You can tell that that one um, was obviously reaching out for the light. Um, there we are, and that's a good advert for why people plant things in rows and beds, I think, and why I'm going to be doing that more next year, because otherwise you get things that are um, growing at different rates because they're chasing after the sun or whatever they're doing. Here, believe it or not, is some rhubarb, and it was planted last year, so we didn't harvest anything from it, because you don't in the first year, and so next year we'll get some lovely rhubarb from these three plants. Um, this is just, um, got nothing in it now, and then we've got the chart, um, all this area has been dug over and some stuff dug in and I'll do it again before I plant anything else in there as has this area um, celery down here it was a little bit blocked off from the light because it, we had some French beans growing here during the summer um, but you can see at least some of it is growing fairly okay, it's going quite well actually, we'll probably have some in um, oh, probably February or March, more broccoli, this is a lovely um, pyracantha bush that um, my sister bought for my mum and we put it in here, um, and it's produced these lovely orange berries, um, uh, but it had lo loads of them and of course the birds have been picking them and it's nice because you've seen them sitting on this like this one here and uh, reaching down and pecking at them so that's quite nice to see it had some kale but there again it's grown up too tall it's um, black Tuscany kale uh, kale even and uh, it's been reaching out for the light as you can see the sun comes through from there and um, these things have been competing for light so I won't put those there again uh, next year this area here um, uh, how to explain this well it was pretty much all grass um, and but it was uneven um, when we came out of the shed here um, we had a couple of trips and things sometimes so it wasn't very safe and then when we planted when I planted potatoes at the back there um, I had a couple of falls as well and it, you know it's not entirely safe really um, so we've dug all the grass up and we're going to dig some of this stuff in as well um, and level it all off and then when we've levelled it all off in the spring, uh, I'll sow or plant some uh, creeping thyme and let that become a thyme lawn um, and 
put some we'll put the bench back at the end as well. So um, coming up here, all this has been dug over obviously. More sporadically planted broccoli. I think I was just trying to fit them in wherever to be honest. Um, and uh, cauliflowers here. Now the story with the cauliflowers is that I planted eight all of the same variety. There we are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, and five of them died off. Uh, and then when I went to replace them, they had a different variety, Mayflower. The original variety, as you can see here, is Alsmere, and that will come through uh, fairly soon. The later variety is Mayflower, as the name suggests, it will flower in May. We've got a container area here, pretty much vacant, um, had some tomatoes and stuff in it. We've got the grapevine still surviving through the winter. And then uh, up this side, up until last year it was um, ferns, which is why you can still see some stumps. And my brother-in-law very kindly came over and um, chopped those down um, so that we could replace them. And we've now got the two rose bushes, one there, which is a, I believe is a climbing one, a blue coloured one, and one here, which is more of a bush rose, um, which as you can see, I've pruned them both, and this one's a beautiful red one, produced really stunning flowers last year in its first year. Uh, we've got those two which we transferred over from the other side. Um, because all along here we're going to put more roses and we're going to have a, a whole uh, rose border. So there we are. And here you've got some punia leeks and they are punia on purpose. I did plant them much later or sow them much later so that's fine. Um, I'd expect them to bulk up in spring and obviously I'd, they, you know, they need weeding as well. So there we are. Now, as I said, I'm going to be putting a video on this channel every day in 2015. That's the target. Um, and linked up with my blog as well. And um, some of the videos will be a lot shorter than this just to probably brief updates so I'll see you all again tomorrow for now goodbye